Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the corner of the home gym. And the reason why this camera angle is here is because the face detection on my DSLR seems to keep going to my face on the Wildcat Wrestling poster. But this is where we're gonna be for the duration of this review video. And what we will be reviewing is this right here, the Corpedo. My Philly accent is gonna fail me consistently. grip Edo, like a torpedo, but for your grip, this is the four inch, the original, the four inch diameter handle here. And this actually resembles the Force USA globe grip chin up bar. It looks exactly like that. And it's probably just as tough to grip as the globe grip. But with this, you can do many different things. So there's different accessories that they sell on the website. At the time of this recording, all those things are sold out. So they only have the original, Right now, as we're recording, they'll probably get stock in, so just keep a lookout by going to the website in the description below. But there's many different ways to use this. We're gonna use this in the standard way. The other way that people like to use this is to get like a Home Depot bucket, some play sand, put it in there, and work on their grip. Now, in my case with the home gym, we have two cats that may mistake the play sand and a bucket for a litter box. So. When we go to the new garage gym, which might be coming soon, we'll be able to put it in a separate place from both my little kitties, and that way I don't get a couple surprises when I go to use the Grappito. There, I got it right. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna use it as many people do when they have a power rack. They put a barbell up on the J-hooks and they put it into the sleeve, and there's a few different ways to use this. Now, if you have a Smith machine, you don't feel like hooking up the power rack, you can, I'll take this collar off first. You can get what you need and get the spin that you want for the grip, whether you're using it this way or this way, without having to get a barbell out, J hooks, and hook it up on the power rack portion of your all in one trainer. So that's good news for me, especially. And we're going to throw that down there. Now, what we're going to do, we can basically take this and work on this just like this which doesn't give you much weight, but just to kind of warm yourself up before you do any kind of grip work like deadlifts. Uh, in my case, I used a lot of kettlebell stuff today and to be able to grip the kettlebells with two hands or one hand, this can come in very, very handy. There, there's a pun for you. Now, what we're also gonna do, that's just a quick thing of showing you how you can do it without anything. But the real power in using this is when you attach a string or rope or even a resistance band to something like a kettlebell or a plate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a rope. By the way, BattleBox, still getting a subscription. I was, I was getting this rope right here, which came in handy and came just in time. So we're gonna cut this rope, tie it to this little hole down here, and then we're gonna use it with a kettlebell attached to the rope. All right, so here's the hole right here. We're just gonna tie it up. Make sure we have it right there. Just one should be good right there to hold it in place. Oh, maybe a double knot, okay. Let's see if we can get a little bit extra here. It's probably not gonna look super clean if it stays on there, but that way you can definitely get it working. By the way, I did uh, whatever term you wanna call it. I'm only using a 10 pound kettlebell because forearm work is something I don't really do a whole lot of. And let's just tie the string around here to the kettlebell. Now I went a little longer, like I said, because it's always better to make sure that rather than have it short and be off here, that you want to lift it off the ground. So let's just see what we can do here. I am not a knot person at all. Okay, we got the super far camera angle because I want you to get the whole idea of how this is working. And what I'm going to do is no matter which way you go with this, make sure it's right there. And as I come up, it is not light. And... There we go, and let it go. Now if I wanted to, I can go the opposite way. Make sure it's there. Same thing. It doesn't feel too bad. It's a little heavy, and then let it go. And if you have neighbors, if you're using a heavy kettlebell, you probably don't want to do that. I can feel that. I mean, I could probably go a little bit heavier on this, but it's good training, especially like I said before, if you're doing a warm up on this, See, I have a little thumb issue too. I have an injury that's been really giving me a lot of trouble in this left thumb for years. Probably just really damaged ligaments and tendons in my thumb from wrestling. So this hopefully will help, but it, it's sometimes 
gives me a great deal of pain. And right there, and let it go. Nice. I see lots of people. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, geez. Just doing little turns with your form like that. That is tough. All right, let's try the other side. That is not easy. So I'll kind of assist, at least for me. Guys are probably stronger than me that are using this. This is the real test with this thumb. Ah. Ah. That is no joke. Ah. Ah. Oh. So for me, at least, the resistance band hookup is a little bit of a failure, but you can get cheap rope, cheap string at Home Depot. So if you are gonna use this, say with the play sand and a $5 bucket or a five gallon bucket, don't know how much the buckets are right now, but a five gallon bucket uh, with some play sand won't cost you too much. You're probably gonna have an updated review video using that setup. As a matter of fact, we were in St. Augustine Beach and I brought this with me to use in the actual beach sand, but the weather very, very crowded. We made the mistake of going down spring break week or during spring break month. So we weren't able to do that. I thought that would have been a cool use case for the Grappito. Say I pronounced it right again. But this is very useful. And this is something if you're training, and for me especially, with grip training and forearm training, it doesn't take much for me to get like really sore from this. I'm already a little bit sore from working here and also with the kettlebell and the string like that. That proves I have a deficiency, a flaw that I need to work on. I need to strengthen my forearms. I need to strengthen my grip, especially if I'm doing kettlebell work, some more barbell work, even power band work. We're trying to make a power band program. Grip is very important. Uh, forearm strength is very important with the power bands because you don't have those D handles like you do with the other types of resistance bands. So that is about it. This is a very useful piece of equipment. I definitely recommend this. Also, lots of people who do MMA, jiu-jitsu, lots of things where you have to grab. Or if you're like me and you have a couple cats that don't like to be held, this this can also <laughs> really, really help you with that. That's the goal I have, at least not not you know, jiu-jitsu or MMA. I just want to be able to hold on to me and Odin without them trying to get away and being successful. So that's about it. That's probably not a case or a use that the Grappito inventors wanted to advertise, but I am right now. So check it out. Link is in the description below. Also check out all the other affiliate links and codes that we have. And like I said before, go to stevierichardsfitness.com for all the resistance band training programs and workout videos. Thank you guys so much. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.